يا قرانه Yo, 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 yo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first official episode of Tell Me I'm the Greatest Podcast. <laughs> We are waiting on Travis Bejan to enter the chat. Or enter the first ever episode. While Travis is kicking to the thing, we're gonna add some motion to this thing. Um, we are waiting on Travis, guys. Yesterday we tried to do the podcast at around the same time, and we can officially oh, we can officially blame it on Travis for canceling. I'm I'm a little skinnier. I'm not I'm not too too skinny. Relax now. Yeah. Hey, hold on now. You used to be a lot cooler. What's happening? I can't call it. You tell me. What's up with you? <laughs> well, welcome to the first. Hold 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 on. Hold on, guys. Welcome to the first official episode of Tell Me I'm the Greatest Podcast. And we are here with Travis Bajan, who is now in a luxurious Ritz Carlton room that I didn't know we had a budget for. Ezra, this is just the spare Ezra's room whenever he gets oh, back. Oh, come on, man. I thought you were in some baller hotel room, man. Nah, I'm right here in the Great Martinburg, West Virginia, chilling here. And I'm glad we got a hold of you. We haven't seen you in a couple of weeks because you've been back at the workforce, I guess. But I've spoken to Mark and uh, we got to let you go. Uh, didn't want to do it over the phone. Didn't want to text you. Wanted to make sure that I looked at you eye to eye and tell you that we cannot go on with this slapstick schedule. And we will be hiring a new host. So this will be the last official episode for Artem. Do do I get two? So do I get like two like weeks of episodes or some type of pay or like? Nope, we're gonna do you what you did to us. Just straight up ghost the motherfucker for a month. So we're out. We tried as much as we could. Can't do it. Putin already called us and threatened us. And we're saying fuck Putin, fuck Russia, and fuck Artem. We're done well, with this. I feel like out of every employee that I have ever quit from or got fired, that's one of the most respectful ways I was ever got to let go. I will have appreciate And you are the first person I've ever fired in my whole life. Just so you know. <laughs> Not being able to be fired by me is hard to do, bro. Hard to do. Man, I said the record. It's something, you know, something to be proud of. <laughs> who do you think we should, uh, who would uh, like to replace Artem? We'd like to talk to oh. him and Hold on. all that good stuff. Um, I don't think it's possible. What man. about Rock Elbow or Concrete Elbow? You hear about these guys? I love Concrete Elbow, but I'm pretty sure he's like incognito person. Like nobody knows who that is. I feel like people think that I'm the guy. Maybe it's awful funny that he shows up with a podcast right after you ghost us for a month. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Rock. No, someone asked me about, oh, Ingen did. I did Ingen's podcast yesterday. And uh, first of all, Ingen loves the beast. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. First of all, I've seen a clip today. I'm pretty sure you did to Eng in what you did to me yesterday. What's that? A little late. Did that show up? Oh no, he 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 told me three o'clock. Then he's like at two forty. You can come on early if you want. Nope, don't even really want to come on at three. Definitely not coming on at two forty. But he was a good sport. I can just tell, like, man, he loves the beast. <laughs> he loves the personality. Man. He don't give a yeah. He's like straight promoter. Before he was like even rough around the edges because he was all about arm wrestling. Not anymore. You want to slap somebody and run a skit? He's he's two weeks away from hiring Evan Longario for the next match. He is promote her. Ah, that's awesome. Um, Travis to four ninety nine dollars super chat. Travis looking huge. Oh. Take North America <laughs> beast versus West. There is not many people that can beat me right now. I would say. In my uh, life. how you how you been? Have you been not training? Training? What's going on? I've been training pretty good, and I've been um, staying on my medication. Really, is the most important thing. What, just, what, what, why is that? It's because you thought the pay well, because a lot of times I get, you know, a bunch of stem cells and I end up selling them instead of taking them. But here lately, I've been taking all the stem cells every time I get a chance. Every three or four days, just popping them in there. Self-medicating, and I am fucking jacked. Self-medicating. Jacked. Gotcha. So, but so you guys basically send back in the local competition. I mean, it's real tough for me because if it? I do three, if I do three wrist curls, then I shouldn't be allowed at anything less than a world event. But I'll just roll right into the county fair and rape and pillage everybody because that's how I roll. That's what I'm planning on doing this weekend. What are you doing this weekend, Travis Bajan? I will be competing at the Harvest Gap on Saturday. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah. so Dave it... Morocco, you on the clock, motherfucker. You on the okay. clock. Who, who else? Is there anybody in chance to beat you this weekend? I can't imagine anybody else is stupid enough to show up in my backyard and think they're going to win. People want that qualify. People want to be that last chance at the qualifiers. Whoa! Who knows? People, I might people have want to crack. I might have to crack Barry Born. Who knows? Who might fucking show up there? People want to yes. come and qualify, man. Anybody be careful, yeah. guys. For those who doesn't know, for the whole existence of this podcast, we've been trying to replace me as a co-host from day one, and. As you can oh, tell you, you are successful by now. We are being successful because we will be replacing you as, you, as you. as you can tell, the talent pool, I guess, is not. I don't know if they can't reach out to us or anything, but I've sent a message. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to, I didn't oh. want to put the position out there until I officially fired you face to face. Uh, oh, well, fuck. I feel like I was self fired. Fired. Make sure you listen to that. Guys, guys. One more time for the a hundred and eighteenth time. See exactly. That's why. That's why we are where we are. <laughs> for the hundred eighteenth, eighteen eighteenth time, I'm asking you: if you like to co-host a podcast, just email Travis at travisbajan one at gmail dot com, and we'll get you squared away. The pay, the pay is shaky. It's basically non-existent. Uh, the work uh, like a couple of, I mean a couple hours a day then if you want to go hard on everything else 40 hours <laughs> uh, it's up to uh, you about how bad you want to climb this corporate chain it exactly. ain't up to it's me like, it's, it's up not to just you. like a 1099 you might think it's a fake job but really just how hard you want to put the work <laughs> exactly. Down, man. exactly hey, just think you... of it this way at the end of the year if I were to write you a bunch of checks you know taxes but you don't have to worry about that with us. Shit, no one says you're stuck, Artem. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Hey. Shane's getting ready to have a match, right? Or did he already have it? Him and Carl get right bang? Yeah, he, he was messaging me saying he's going to lose to Carl. Like, here he pre all the pre planning, all this negativity. Well, into him. well, Shane, I agree with you. June 15 is happening. June 15. You are going to get your ass whipped by Carl. So you're right on par there, Shane. 
But let's talk about how juiced up Hunter Notes must be. My goodness, what a big. Oh, did, you, did you watch everything? What did you What did you catch? I didn't watch anything. I don't need to know more than the fact that he won the 54s and the 76s. Yes. And I remember being around the motherfucker. He thought he was the man back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, so, yeah. Hats off to Chad Silvers. What, what a freak. Yeah, Chad, but... if you train at Chad's, man... You start learning how to stem cell it up, and before you know it, you are running shit in the United States of America. I mean, listen, he's got Warzinski, Hunter down there. I mean, damn, Todd Hutchins came Todd from Hutchins there. there. Matt Harris came from there. Chad Silvers came from there. Dude, that's like Alex Alex Jugalco. Alex Jugalco died during COVID. He was during that time, too. Love Alex. Wasn't as good as this guy's I mentioned, so don't mention his name again in that name. Alex, great guy, though. Love him. Love him. But listen, man, I'm telling you, man, uh, you know, very few places you can go and the prescription be laid out. Motherfucking Chad Silvers knows what the fuck is going on, bro. Put some respect on that man's name. Yeah, now um, I'm interested to see how Hunter going to play out. Did you see a Jeremy Fraley come back too? I did see that, but I think Jeremy he uh he didn't win though, did he? No, but so what confused me? Uh, Jeremy and Hunter pulled at um left handed at at they at they East versus West qualifier in in like in the overalls, and Jeremy beat him pretty easy. And I kind of want to see this match now. From what my understanding, they like Hunter, you know, didn't know how bad Jeremy Fraley is <laughs> and got so they pulled though the other day, though, right? I don't think they did because I did it wasn't around Robin. Was Hunter pulling in left handed round Robin or just right handed? Oh, I heard he won them both. Did he not win both? No, I'm pretty sure Eli won left handed. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Eli won left handed. I'm um, uh. Justin took second, if I'm correct. I know Hunter won right hand for sure. All right. Are who we not waiting oh, yeah. on the uh, results? Shane Owens is confirming Hunter did not pull in the left hand round robin. Oh, okay. Justin got second. Well, I did pull low. Hunter left handed. He was pretty terrible. So he's probably a right handed guy. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled Hunter a bunch of times too in the side table, and the kid is strong. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to say anything right now because I might. Nah, gosh, you man. better shut the fuck up. The ass women you've been taking compiled to the wins he's been taking. Nah, you don't fuck with that. And I told, uh, I told, um, uh, Inga Terzi yesterday. I'm like, listen, the thing about Hunter is how light he could get. Right? I mean, this dude ain't no 176 guy. Not even that. Like, seeing Hunter every time and, like, seeing him in the tournaments, the guy is different, 100%. He is definitely, like, he's there to kill a lot of people. He's there definitely to take something. He's just not there, like, to fuck around. So that's that's a little yeah, different. We need to, yeah, Hunter needs to grab a hold of one of those, you know, one of those true 154 guys that Ingen lets get to, you know, 65 and then let Hunter come down to 65. It don't have to be no all American the first one, but it could be just a good dude and then give Hunter. I mean, I think Hunter could put on a show if you give him a winning match. It's all aggressive, yelling and screaming and shit before you know it. We got an American redneck for fucking promotable. That's promotable, baby. Let's go. The Mola doesn't have that redneck, boy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I tell you, we're still starving. We're starving for a national. We need a national championship. Right. Don't even just I don't give a fuck what the whoever's got the money, the Artem's national championship got all 11 weight classes, twenty five hundred dollars first place, each weight class left and right handed thousand dollars second place, five hundred third place. How much money is that? Let's add that up. You got your calculator. Uh, so let's say it again. What, what, let's what go twenty five hundred times. Let's just say eight weight classes. 2,500. No, let's go 28 times 12. That way we can have the women and the men. 
12 why, weight why classes. Is, why is it 28? So for... What'd you say? Why is it 28, not 25? No, nah, what do you mean? 25. 2,500, eight, eight weight classes. Or no, 12 weight classes. Eight girls, four guys. All right, 2,500 times 12 will be $30,000. Nope, oh, I know why. We haven't done this yet. It's already <laughs> adding up, right? Well, what are we doing this 20 grand? What if we do 20 grand? No, nah, no, nah, forget that. We got to go 2,500 first place, 1,000 second place. So that's another 12 grand. So we're talking uh, 30 plus 12 plus six. What is that number? 30 plus 12 plus six? Yep. Well, it's uh, 38, right? My God, 42 plus six is 48. So we need $50,000 cash to run the legit national championship. And I'm telling you, man, if you ran that fucking tournament, that, dude, you don't know who's going to win that money. You think you do, but you don't know. It could be a fucking bunch of people that could win that class. So I'm wondering, so I feel like uh, my buddy Mike Moody here, September 21st, throwing a huge tournament here in Jacksonville, paying out yeah. 500 per class, which is technically a lot of money, but... It's a lot of money. It just can't get everybody to come. That $500 becomes the worst case scenario for 15 guys, right? It becomes a legitimate thing for about 30 guys. And then you get the $1,000 that becomes a, a worst case scenario for like the top seven guys. And then you got that $2,500 that gets the guy who tries to act like the thousand's not enough to be like, fuck it. If you don't come for the $2,500 for your weight class, you can't tell me that you're the fucking champ. The guy who wins the $2,500, he's going to be able to tell people he's the champ. You got to do the explaining. Oh, I didn't go because my girlfriend's wedding. I couldn't go because of the fucking baby shower. Whatever, motherfucker. I know why you didn't go when it was 1000 But at $2,500, let us see what's up. That's four weight classes. So that's 71, 89, 209, and supers. Or it's 76, 98, 231, supers. I don't know. But it's four classes left, four right, two right hand classes for the women, right and left handed. That's where you come up with the 12 classes. If you want to say fuck the women, then let's just go six weight classes for the guy. <laughs> But James Reed's coming to town this weekend. So that's why I included the women in this podcast. Because you know how sensitive James gets. Yeah, I'm still – let me see. Yeah, if you even you do, like, four weight classes left and right arm, that's still 20 grand to pay out $2,500 for the first place. I know. But the 25 is the desperate number. That's the minimum number where you're still not getting rich – but I'm willing to take the chance knowing that if I win, it will cover everything. And if I right. win both hands, I, it really covers everything. And the truth is... Both, hand, two, both hands, it could be like the fat, the fat is checked for somebody, for sure. Could be, could be. The problem is, is the guys that can win that tournament left and right-handed have every once in a while had one of those paydays. Not much, but every once in a while. Right, well, the, yeah, the, the thing changes. Like, for the Hunter Knobs, it will be, like, his first day, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah, no yeah. doubt. But, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, even if Mike gives away what he gives away for 12 classes, like, six grand still, and uh, he has to come up with. We should not. Yeah, yeah, the $500 per weight class is just absolutely a gold mine if I can locate the place in two hours of driving from my house. Once I can't get there in two hours... The five hundred dollars is irrelevant. It doesn't fucking matter. It's a nuisance. Now, you know, so people yeah, aren't yeah. coming then for the money. It's like that. The twenty five hundred dollars, thousand and five hundred will get you on the plane. It'll have you at the host hotel. You'll pay the entry fee, and you will have guys in that class that can change your ranking status along with making it just worth its while. 
right? I grabbed two second place classes. It's the worst fucking day of my life. Oh, at least my wife's not fucking laughing at me because at least I got $2,000 that I got to do this for free. You know what I mean? So to me, that's um, that's the justification. 25500 So that's uh, $4,000 per weight class is how you uh, make it happen. And you really want more than you want more than 12. You really want 16 classes, right? You want you want the six classes right handed and you still want to include the women, especially because. If the right 10 bitches come, the fucking thing is awesome. Right. Like I was just looking at trying to get Danielle a match, right? She right. comes to our tournament. The fucking chick is fucking fire, right? Screaming, fucking people who don't know nothing about arm wrestling are like, no, she's my MVP. I'm like, okay, cool. All right, I got you. Right. I mean, I can't, I can't say she's not. You're not, you don't know nothing about arm wrestling. You're here. You watched it. You say she's the MVP. That's fucking enough for me. Right. So I'm calling Merlina. I'm calling uh Michelle. I'm calling Elizabeth. I'm calling um uh uh Myrna. Right or Mar what's 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 Merlin? Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, I, I know I'm going to say that wrong, but I need to get that squared away too because I ended up landing the match with her. But the more I started going down the list of 145 to 160 pound chicks that are dedicated to the sport, look the fucking part, and getting after it, dude, there's ten or fifteen of them. They're oh, everywhere. But okay. the truth is, is that. You can't, you think there's not, you think there's only three of them, right? But if you really got 2,500, 1,500, let me tell you something. All of a sudden, Ron Bath, uh, what's her name? Uh, Angie Ron Bath. Angie Ron Bath is in the house, right? I mean, you start looking at, and then there's just talent everywhere. And it's like, those girls look good too. Yeah, I mean, the, like, the, oh, yeah, both Sarah's out of the West Coast. Yeah. Dude, they're everywhere. It's just there's never enough money for you to see them unless you go to their town. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, and then, you know, the same thing with the heavyweights. You know, you start giving $2,500 away and you get Heidi, you get um, uh, high, uh, 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 Brazil, and all of a sudden now you got Sarah. Dude, you bring Sarah Bachman and – the people, the any human beings there that don't know anything about arm wrestling are way more excited to watch her and uh, and Gabby get after it. And listen, no disrespect to Gabby and 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 Sarah, but they're happy with the twenty five hundred dollars too. Like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm in. I, I'm I'm an arm wrestler. Twenty five is a good number. If it's not twenty five. You got to try to justify it too much. So let's listen. Let's do it. Let, let some rich motherfucker that is there listening. Let's put the plan together for the fifty thousand dollars in prize money. Let's put the plan together for the ten thousand dollars in production costs. So now we're at sixty thousand dollars, and then let's put five thousand dollars in there for the staff. So we're at sixty-five thousand dollars. You should probably give me 10 grand, but fuck it. Just give me five grand. I'll coordinate everything. So I think <laughs> we're at like less than 75 grand per year. And then let's just run the tournament and then set aside all the opportunities on over here on how to break even, right? We need $50,000 worth okay. of sponsors, right? What does that look like? That's probably 100 businesses at $500 a piece. Right, because we already know when we try to go get the ten grand, twenty grand, it's a tough gig. Before you know it, they got to call the conference call, they got to have a meeting. But let's just pick away from them, right? From our whole community, every one hundred of us grab a five hundred dollars sponsor and bring it to the national championships. Right now, we got the fifty thousand dollars in prize money. Let's run the pay per view. Let's do the trading cards. Let's do the posters. Right. But let's do it together. Not because one person is going to make any money because I'm going to win the five grand left and right handed. That's why we want to do it. Let's have some fun and everyone else can try to win it, too. But don't tell me you're having the national championships. 
if you don't have $4,000 per weight class to give out to the winners. 2,500, 1,500, that's the number. Is that what's for you or? That's just the number just from my experience in life. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. I'm not telling you that I can't get you to come to the Mudfield Grill for $250. I'm telling you to fly across the fucking country to Minnesota or to Chicago or to Dallas, get a hotel, plan your fucking life around knowing that the 15 baddest dudes plus the 15 dudes that think they're better than you. So that's 30 dudes that are in there. 15 of them you respect, 15 of them you think are slappies that are coming for your ass, right? And that's, that's what we need. We need 30 people classes at the U.S. National Championships competing for just enough money to justify the conversation at the barbershop and at Thanksgiving dinner, right? And then being actually proud of the content, the content being sellable, um, you know, that's the deal. Now, whether it can ever be true, a true business plan, I'm not sure, but that's it. Like, that's what we need to make sure that 400 of us are gathering once a year like it used to be and all kinds of memories are being made you know dudes are banging chicks that they never would have banged normally because they're at the national championships i mean come on do you know how many times i was single at the national championships no idea zero god damn it i wish i would have been because i would have been <laughs> killing them on them Yeah, well, man, I'm excited. I'm trying to see if I can find here Mike's event from last year. So that's something you've been talking about for a long time. And you'll meet my, my buddy Mike this weekend, which will be awesome. And man, what do you mean? Mike's coming? Uh, no, no. So my buddy Mike, Mike Moody, local dude. And oh, I found the pictures at least from his. Uh, let me pull up this picture for you. So let's Mike's property right here. Where I thought you, how am I going to see Mike this weekend? That's my buddy Mike. He's flying with me this weekend. Do you see this? Oh, yeah. That's, that's, I like that. That's, that's the Redneck Riviera right there. What is that? Dude, that's Mike's house. That's 10 minutes from me. Wow. Over there. What that's, does Mike do for a living? Well, he one of the one of his businesses is a dumpster company, so that tells you a lot. But he owns... Oh, he, shit. He, he owns a roofing business, he owns a dumpster business, he owns a barn, and a lot of other businesses here in Jacksonville. He's basically a West Side mayor. <laughs> nice. So, dude, over there is his barn. So every year now, he does the thing to where it's a big car show with a bunch of vendors that vendors just every local like want to come in and sponsor because everything kind of, uh, it's a veteran foundation as well. So vendors come in. They pay their money, vendor fee, over there in that barn. That's where he has a tournament. And last year was just kind of first thing, first tryout. And now, and he kind of pulled it up maybe like one, two months. You know what I mean? Whenever he got the pond build it. But now he's promoting this event like, as we'll be speaking What's right What's the date? What's the date? September 21st. It's the date. And this is where his tournament he ran last year? He ran yep. a tournament here? Yep. It's nice. right there at his creep. So, and who ran it for him? Brandon? Nah, I feel like Chuck did. Or maybe they did it. Oh, I got you. Like, yeah. Chuck's yeah, good, yeah. right? It was a, yeah, but it was a small thing. It was almost like just a part of it. Like, But now he's like, was, I don't even think there was any money in it. But now we're talking at least $500 per class, and it's all only going to go up. And he he's inviting everybody. So, like, we for sure would like to get you down there, and it's going to be a crazy time. And Yeah, I don't like that date, but maybe it'll happen. I just I know, know that I, that's like straight football season, right? Right, right, right. But other than that, uh, Mike, I mean, it was all his hustle because I'm driving with him a lot in his car, like what he's trying to pull off for the tournament. Uh, definitely a potential to be something absolutely crazy. Nice. That should, yeah, that should be. But you'll see him tomorrow and he'll probably sell you on the date where you have to cancel all your football plans. No problem. I'm in, baby. Let's go. <laughs> you know I mean? Fucking go. Should Mike, we, like um, is he going to bring his platinum credit card? Because we get that motherfucker up at lust. We can change his life. He's, he like he likes to tell me, Ooh. hey, just... hey, I brought my boys from the oil field here two weeks ago, dude. I, I almost I almost left Casey and the kids and stayed at Lust. <laughs> What's the last time you've been to Lust? 
this time, now he has done taken away all the private rooms, right? Okay. They're all hot tub and shower rooms now. So the hot tub, when you walk in, is empty. Okay. You pay $1,500. You walk in. He has shorts for you, every size. You put your shorts on. It takes eight minutes, and the hot tub is filled up with 104 temperature water. Okay. You got one half hour hot tub with the dancers, right? Then the fucking – it. All the water disappears. Lady comes in, wipes it down, ready for next customer. Half hour later. Every time the water gets filled up and taken down and taken out every time. You should see how fast the fucking water goes in there. It's crazy. He's got six of them now. And then you can take a shower with the dancer. So what? There's like three tops? All in front, like in front. No, of the no. The hot tub room is by itself. The uh -huh. shower room is by itself. I, I, yeah, I got the you. bath is. You know, it's all by itself, but it's all in its own room. It's <laughs> crazy, dude. I mean, he is a pimp. And now the back is open, so all of those little areas that were VIP areas, they're all the new private dance areas. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, yeah. And listen, man, it's <laughs> on, boy. What a beast. What a beast. I was in there. I got in all three of the hot tubs. <laughs> just to check them out. One time I looked over there, it was just us dudes in there. There wasn't no girls in there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Man, it was, a, back, it was back. a P we have a P. Diddy party. We had a P. Diddy <laughs> party in there. They changed up on me. You know what though? We spent so much money, I didn't give a fuck. If I had to take one for the team, Artem. I was gonna take one for the team. Well, you told me that one time. As soon as you spend five hundred dollars, you want to make sure you're living with something. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens. Because in the club, you could always say you was roofied or drugged. Like me, I would never normally do that, man. Huh. What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, I was hammered, man. I was hammered. I don't know what was going on. I could look tell it was a dude with the gold retriever, like the last time. Hey, are you coming to April twentieth or no? Are you coming to Istanbul? No, no, not to the April 20th. Oh, no. my goodness. This is going to be the I'm a shit. Bum. I'm a bum. Let's talk about that. What, 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 where is your head at now? I mean, I just hope that we didn't get behind Devin the momentum so much that we kind of pissed Levon off and maybe gave him a new level of focus. But I'm still going with my man. I think Devin, for the first time in his life, is going to wake up on April 21st for the first time ever legitimately the right-handed super heavyweight champ of the world. And that is tough, man. I don't really like that. But it's tough for you to wake up with. Yeah, that's for sure. It is what it is. Like, I can, I'm okay with LeVon being the champ because I don't have to talk to the motherfucker. I don't have to see him. I don't – no one ever asked me, hey, you ever you ever met LeVon? You think he could beat LeVon? No one says that to me. But I hear Devin's name three times a week. Would you rather – Wake up to an ugly chick that was hotter the night before, but you wake up and look at her, she is ugly as hell, and you have to realize that thought. Or wake up and realize that Devin Laird is world champion. Which I'll take the ugly chick any day. <laughs> I, don't, I see beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. Uh, I, don't, I don't meet many ugly chicks. What a good man. What a good man. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't have a type because every woman is unique. <laughs> Let's go. You Let's go. go. Uh, 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 so, uh, is it just two of y'all coming? Yep, 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 yep. Is he arm wrestling or is he just spectating? No, uh, Mike. No, Mike is a gangster. Mike been arm wrestling for a couple months now, and I'm like, yo, I mean, they, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, I'll pull pro class. I right, bet. So he'll be injury out. prone. Is Mike injury prone or it's all good? You don't work them kinks out. Uh, he competed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. No, no, no. Mike competed before many times and taken ass whoopings to where he came back and he's normal. And usually when I practice with him, I don't have to think about it a lot, like, to keep him safe. Yeah, I feel like he, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Good. Absolutely Good. tough class to where he will be. <laughs> he'll have a fun time, but he doesn't mind. So, absolute trooper. I don't fly with any other type people. <laughs> You brought some shady motherfuckers up here before, so we'll see. 
<laughs> yeah, come on. They're probably were local. Sorry, I just brought them back. I brought them back home. Right, you picked them up between uh, the airport and my house. I don't know. Hey, so, uh, what time do you get in? Oh, you know, late, like maybe five, five twenty. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna hit Harvest Gap right away uh, to weigh in and be down to whatever y'all guys got planned. So. Two things. So during my training yesterday in this class, the talking to this lady who is from West Virginia, I told you the story, but it's funny for the uh, for everybody here. Um, like she's from West Virginia. I'm like, sh I go the bears. I'm like, oh yeah, I love bears. I'm like, well, you should know Tyson Bajan down. Oh yeah, I know Tyson and I know Travis. And then she proceeds to tell me, hey, I hate when on TV they say Travis Bajan. Like they don't know in Virginia it's it, it it's budget. <laughs> And I go, man, Travis has a whole beat about how he was talking about Tyson being drafted for number one. And he told the whole opposite of how it will be budget because he usually mess it up. And I, say, <laughs> so I don't know how many TV shows have you seen. Badget, Badget, Badget is the go-to. Awesome. Badget. 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 So, yeah, that was awesome to hear something completely opposite. The, but that means there are plenty of videos out there where it says Bajan. So it's 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 good. It's good. Um. Another another quote I ran here. Uh, I'm looking at thirty five thousand dollars. If you do five weight classes and you pay out like two thousand for the first, instead of twenty five hundred. I got you. Yeah. So two thousand, one thousand five hundred. Yeah. I got you. Five thirty five hundred times however many classes. So you include the women too. I know women just five classes, so left and right hand, thirty five thousand dollars. That's that's not fifty, but that's still a you know it's a good number. It is, and it's the two thousand, the two thousand number, the twenty five hundred, whatever it is. That's the trick. The trick is to make the third place money normal, the second place money above average, and the first place money unheard of. And that's usually what you get if you well, get over you that. Said, yeah, and when you like really try to come down and be super frugal, and you got for beat, you're not, you know. What if you don't live in the hub? Yeah, next thing you know, like that whole travel will cost you like a grand. And <laughs> and yeah. And so then what you do is uh not winning first place puts a little more of a a a, a bad taste in your mouth. You don't and like the tournament. Sudden, you don't like the now, tournament. All of a sudden now you uh the tournament was at a shitty location. Refing was bad, and I'll never come back. And you know, that's with the perception you get. What you really want is a ton of people being having what they feel is an option, hey, right? What let's talk about it? this. Let's talk about. Uh, I think nobody talks about this. You can be at the shittiest tournament ever that pays out with wash referees, no table, and it took you forever to get there. But as long as you're the guy that took all the money, you're not complaining on Facebook whatsoever. I tell you, man, so and so runs the top notch event. That's what you're here for. <laughs> Yeah, ain't no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. that's something to think. It's crazy. Out. It's crazy. And I feel yeah. like there are tournaments out there like this, to where like they're kind of low key. People don't go to them because the under assumption is that. But there's so yeah. much money to be made. Your top guys don't care. They still will show up. Yeah, and I remember just seeing guys be able to win two, three weight classes and grab three hundred fifty dollars each class. The motherfuckers happy as shit when it's all said and done. Like, what'd you do? One seventeen fifty and these three medals. I'm like, damn, bro, you killed it. <laughs> oh, uh, what's the Artem got coming up next? Well, a bunch of little tournaments, but East versus West in July versus Tom's at one eighty seven. Then September Mount Mask at two thirty five, baby. So that's the still that's still the same. <laughs> Plants are still the same. <laughs> Uh, I said something smart about Matt Mass again the other day. When I see Matt, he's going to be like, yo, bro, why you keep acting like you could kill me? <laughs> oh, man. He's aggressive now. Better be careful. I know. Now he's all stem cell back up. He's good. Man. It's funny. Yeah, sometimes you'll be just talking shit to people and be like, hey, man, what's up? Oh, hey, hey. I thought you were cool, man. I thought you were cool. <laughs> Speaking of cool uh, people. I uh, love that motherfucker, actually. I love it. Matt, no, Matt is awesome. <laughs> That is absolutely. Oh, he's one of the coolest motherfuckers you ever could be around, ever, ever. 
Hundred percent. I know for a fact because I know your face changes whenever he comes to town. Hundred percent. Yeah, he's uh, fun. Yeah, he's fun. Not as a good. He's time. a man. That motherfucker's a man. Uh, uh, Sean, Sean, I, you know when we talk about Matt, we talk about you too, Sean, because you know y'all come together, Sean. Like you know, we appreciate you too. <laughs> Sean, Sean <laughs> in the comment throw throw it ice at us. We still, me and Travis, remember the time y'all were with us behind be behind Travis's house, and y'all were coughing. Coughing your lungs out on those cigarettes. <laughs> Weak. Um, so speaking of awesome people, I got to spend two days with Tyson Bajan the other day. Yeah, he was telling, he keeps on telling little stories. And I hear him. He's like, man, Artem's a dude. Artem's a guy. <laughs> he said Artem had a gold, had a diamond tooth, easies, a fucking Gucci sunglasses, motherfucking. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucker. crazy, man. Yeah, that motherfucker broke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he's a baller. I'm like, man, all that shit's fake. Yeah, dude, Tyson is a stunt. I uh, I caught him at one point because I was very much much aware of the Gucci sunglasses. And whatever, you know, we're hanging out, whatever. And at some point, at this point, we're seeking out during dinner time. And I looked at Tyson and I realized he going to have the sunglasses on when they picked him up at the hotel. And then I noticed, those are my Gucci sunglasses. And then I'm like, I totally not upset that he has them. I'm mega mad because I don't know at what point I have lost them. So I'm, he's wearing yours? Yeah, he's just racking mine like on top of his head. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I have no problem, but I know I'm upset because if it was not for him, I don't know if he just grabbed them out of the car Oh, I left them in the house. But I already hear <laughs> Lindsay. I already hear Lindsay cussing me out. Oh, so you're gonna know where your sunglasses were, but Tyson knew. Well, I shall have thanks, Tyson. <laughs> so I'm looking at him like, all right, well, bet. I just want to make sure I got Did Lindsay get to see Tyson? No, they were bums. They got to they got to be in the house. We spent time with the family. I was the only one like out and about. I got to, yeah, I just didn't know. Yeah. Um yeah, because oh, Lindsay would love to do that because Lindsay, Lindsay would like to get get Bella, my twenty two year old niece, out with Tyson. Hey, Tyson, <laughs> this niece out here. Hey, we see that family. We in for that money. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> hey, no, Lindsay heard you right now. Uh, so anyway, I just I look at him during dinner time. I'm like, dude, I need to make sure I get them. That's all it is. <laughs> We leave, whatever. I drop Tyson at the at the hotel. We have amazing time. I'm about to drive off. Tyson, Tyson hey, my man, stop right there. And he gives me the glasses back. Yeah. And it hits me now with two things. I'm upset even more with myself now because at this point, I done fucking forgot about them glasses. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Second, that uh, Tyson gave them back to me at the very end. At the very end, I didn't even know he had them. So that was. That was us. So you raised some amazing kids, Travis Bajan. And you told him to keep them because of our relationship? You're like, fuck them glasses? No, I mean, he... he, 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 he. <laughs> I mean, listen, I know his address, and I, I know which kid which, uh, to get which Christmas gifts, because you told me that Ezra will fuck up the nice shoes. <laughs> yeah, 100%. So. 100%. So... We'll, we'll go. I we'll got go. to meet the, the Jack Dennis. He said the guy was nice. Dude, yeah, Jerry is awesome. Jerry is absolutely awesome. And um, Did Jerry like Tyson? It was all good? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So I was telling uh, Tyson, like, Jerry is the type of dude that, like, if I bring you to his house over and we're going to have dinner, like, Jerry will thank me for bringing you over. I'm like, no, dude, like, thank you for having us. He's like, over. Scott. He's like Scott Deuster. He's thanking you when he's giving you a gift. Thank you for letting me give you. I'm like, yo, Scott, man, you ain't got to do that. I love you, bro. It's all good. Yeah, like super, <laughs> super above and beyond, like just awesome. Like, dude, the time when I brought. I like, can't wait for Scott to meet Tyson. I'm going to set that up one of these days. <laughs> yeah. dude, no, but like, I remember <laughs> what the time when I brought the 30, 35 people over to Jerry's house for the stem cells party with LeVon and Devin and all them. And that's all we're going to like 10 to 15 people. I met Jerry's wife like two weeks after when I came down there for the dentist work. She's like, hey, thank you for bringing all those people over that day. I'm like, 
<laughs> oh, thank you for letting me like use your house. And yeah. no act like, hey, can you use the pool table? I'm like, first of all, I gonna know there's a pool table in this house. Second, yeah. of all, it's out to the owner. Stay the fuck outside the house. Yeah. <laughs> do not trust me. Do not trust me, man. So yeah, absolutely awesome people. So great time in Naples with Tyson and Jerry. So I guess I guess Tyson was killing it at the training too. Did the, you guys? Did you guys eat at his house or did y'all go out? We went out. We went out. Yeah, uh, Jerry humbly told us as we got to our car that he ordered himself a Lambo, and I'm like, "Must be nice." Oh man, as yeah. you should, young man. As you I, should. I, I go, I go, Jerry. What you gonna do? Where are you gonna put it? He's like, "Well, I'm gonna sell this. Do you wanna buy it?" He has a not. It's not a Hellcat. It's a Red Eye Dodge, and I'm like. Uh, Jerry, I'm pretty sure me and you are in a different cash and tax. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, young man. I give you two thousand dollars for it, motherfucker. Right today. <laughs> I'll talk about some strap details and armaments and stuff here in the table. Hey, you know what's awesome about, about Tyson? As soon as we got to Jerry's garage, uh, Tyson's like the first to person to kind of lean on the table to kind of hang out by it, and I'm like, you know, it's a little bit different of a person that's not afraid of armresting table right and like it exists yeah. the time of, like just be on it type shit like, all right he's starting to practice <laughs> yeah. Tyson will grab somebody stupid in armrest I'm like yo what's wrong with you bro what are we doing that yeah I can tell yeah definitely and it's 100% like no whoa 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 it, it's too late for you now before the whole yeah, thing, no, you know, sure go ahead grab somebody but now no, no. <laughs> and, and you don't feel that fucking good anyway so don't be all happy about it Oh, Larry Jenkins is asking, Arden, what Travis is talking about with Nationals is what we're doing in December. I'm about 30 minutes behind the live, though. Oh, is okay, so Larry is saying is they doing that with their Nationals. Larry, you got 50 oh, what? grand? You know? 30 grand? Oh, 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 well, yeah, they do have, like, I think it's 28. That's Lots nice. Of, well, forever ago. Maybe it's... Way bigger number, but yeah, Larry, light us out. We do know you do something crazy there in July. Oh, in December. Uh, and that's an hey, that's another thing. So I didn't want to like jinx it to anything, but I mean, you know by now, I don't know if we talked about it. Uh, but Igor scheduled some Zlati stuff in December too, right? In Dubai. Uh, I don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing, but there, there is a Dubai thing okay. in December by Igor that's supposed to be like Zlati. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean there's some money? Yeah. Well, I, know. I mean, how fucking much does it cost to get to Dubai? Probably like twelve to seventeen hundred dollars plane ticket. And then what was the hotel? Uh, hotel is about like is American. Well, you'll find something between I don't know eighty to one hundred seventy dollars a night. You can definitely. How many days that. you gotta be there? Three. Probably, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You be that motherfucker will have to give a lot of money away. Do you think so nowadays for Igor? I feel like, dude, I've talked to people. People will now want to go still just because it's Lottie and nobody has still offered the same level of like, I guess, an organization from people's perspective. The people that have been there. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, if you have plenty of money. Man, this is a great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having Eagle run an event and traveling to Dubai. <laughs> but, well, now, but if you want to take your buddy with you, he probably ain't coming. But your buddy will come to you to Nationals in December in Tennessee. Yeah, I remember uh, Igor trying to get me to come over there and pull for sixteen hundred dollars if I won the overall at the slotting. I was like, man, are you out of your fucking mind? That is the hardest $1,600 in the history of the world. I don't even talk about the $1,600, motherfucker. Let's talk about the five grand of unmarked bills that you need to show me as soon as I land that motherfucking plane. Mark bills. I mean. Yeah, I, I'd rather go work somewhere for a week. 1600 to lose? Motherfucker, you can't beat these guys. There's like 100 of them. All of them are most Mm. Too crazy. <clears throat> yeah, well, Igor's money never being like high, right? What's the top? Top does it pay per class? 
800. It's never been that. It's always been his ability to um, take care of travel and airfare and show up money. Oh, he will That's do what it. made Igor he the will, man. He will, he will do that individually for... Well, I don't know if he'll do that. I mean, he did it for me, but he, fuck, he wouldn't do it for me again because I burned him a couple times. And when I say burned him, it just means that I wasn't strong enough to warrant the money. And I don't blame him. As a promoter, you do want the motherfucker to, like, die for you up there. Like, come on, motherfucker, I'm giving you five grand, and I'm up there like a smart ass man. Like, oh, just don't got it today. <laughs> See you next month. <laughs> hey, so I need, before we wrap it up, I need two tip of the day to you. One for the, uh, I'm going to go one with the live situation, but first, let's start with arm wrestling. I don't know if you have one on the top of your head, but I don't know. You've been you've been so strong, Travis, for the past couple of months. Tell us your secret. You just want a tip? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, give me a tip of the day for arm wrestling first. Tip of the day arm wrestling first. Tip of the day arm wrestling first. Tell me. We'll reflect on me for the past two, three months that you had, and you telling me that oh, you... Oh, it's all stone. been about regulation of stem cells. That's all I've been doing is staying at a constant protocol. If well, I'm supposed to take 500 milligrams of stem cell on Monday, uh, let's, let's, I rephrase, take it. Let's, let's rephrase it. The tip of the day is consistency. Yes, be consistent with your stem cells first off. After that, you're going to start feeling better. Well, take that fucking feel good. Go, you know, bang a couple extra chicks, get your fucking confidence out of control. Or guys, whatever you're into, doesn't matter to me. And then take that shit to the gym. And then when you get really tired, go harder. And then you're going to feel better. You're going to look better. Before you know it, you're going to have to turn down two nasty opportunities. Right? That's when your confidence is out of control. Right? Then once, you're, once your confidence is out of control, you start lying to yourself. Tell yourself you're the smoothest. Tell yourself you're the baddest, you're the strongest. Now you create this fucking human being that shows up on Saturday, not stay away from practice. The worst thing to do is to know three people in the class that can beat you. Stay away from those guys. And then when the lights come on, the referee goes up there, get as high as you possibly can, triple cap until you get fouled, false start until you get fouled, false start to find out if there's a lane that we can beat the guy. And then before you know it, you are a tournament savvy, ready to go arm wrestler. Nothing's worse than thinking because you're pulling out to your practice all the time that the practice situation is going to be the same as the tournament situation. It's not. There is so much more anxiety involved. Guys that you think are strong are super strong on Saturday when the referee's there, right? And they're fucking ants watching and their cousins in town, all right? And they're all willing to slit your throat when it comes to double capping, false starting, setting up high as they possibly can. You know, just every single thing, just know that they are going to do it. You have to do it too. There's the tip. Awesome. All right. So, people, I hope y'all got it down. Second. Me and Tyson talked about uh about car loans and shit like that because we've seen a bunch of cars and how crazy um how crazy nine hundred dollar car payment. Oh, he was hot. Can you what's your opinion on the car payment, Travis? Can you tell people? Well, I just think it's funny, right? In general, right? The first time that you realize to drive the Ford Explorer that the middle class drives is a $1,500 a month commitment between gas, uh, invoice, or car payment, and insurance. Sure. Okay? It's just a fact. And I think that, you know, guys like Tyson, who was blessed enough as a junior in college to get a brand new car for free, two years later, he gets upgraded. But the companies that are paying for these cars, they show him the breakdown. So he just was thinking to himself how unhappy he would be 
if this car costs them $1,500 a month, as opposed to it being free, and how strange society is that kids that make $2 million a year don't have to buy it, don't even have the car payment, which is ironic as well, too. So, And to think about the path that he's headed on, it's going to be interesting when he marries some girl that wants a car that's three thousand dollars a month. Dude, so I, so I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to mention all the details, but I know people in, in car collecting, right, in collecting payments. And I'm like, hey, can you give me a couple of crazy clothes? Like, I'll, I'll text them to Tyson. And there's the people that are paying. Those are like real numbers. They're like that I've seen today. Twenty twenty three suburban, twenty three hundred dollars a month. Uh, Maybach seventeen hundred a month. And a um, couple of Mercedes were twenty seven hundred a month. Yeah, and the, uh, God forbid to have like some Dodge Charger, like your insurance alone going to be. Up yeah, there. and you got to know Tyson grew up with me and those buying. Are, those are numbers Tyson grew up with me buying thirty five hundred dollar Ford Rangers. You know what I mean? And letting them motherfuckers eat until you got, they die. You got, you got the Explorer too, but ninety eight. Or yeah. You got the Chevy Trailblazer in there on the on the, on, on the good day, you know, all of those. I mean, what am I telling? I'm in 2006 Nissan Altima. That's still kicking. But how awesome is it to get the white STX Explorer brand new with the black rims? I mean, his shit is hot. But his shit is hot. And oh, he could have had the big truck too, but he wanted the Explorer. So, well, some well, you 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 are paying for gas. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that's that, that's that's not fun for it. But yeah, hundred percent. I can tell from me me being in a completely reclined chair because my car is all fucked up, and then going in the Telluride, like, oh, it's push starts. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we straight. Self drives and all that. Yeah, we're good. So yeah, there's definitely a difference. But yeah, uh, two thousand dollar a mortgage payment for a car is crazy. Yeah, and especially when, I mean. After two months, you could care less about that new car. It's crazy. Well, unless, well, there are some dudes that like it's car of the dreams or some shit, you know, or whatever. There's no doubt. Tyson is not the treat the car like a dream. Right. Or it was like, 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 yeah. Like I've never like Lindsay for some reason tells it like she loves our car. Like she says it like a couple times a week. Like, like I just love our car. I'm like, all right. So that's an interesting feeling. Say it about me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I get plus it. Plus, you probably went through some tougher times, too, when it comes to not having. Once you get the ride, man, you're good. No, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, she, she, did have, she did have rough times in her life, for sure. Lindsay was homeless there for a second in her life. But Lindsay also got a brand new car, like, out of high school. Right, but I'm just telling you, man, when she up. first saw your ass, Fresh off the Siberian fucking thing. <laughs> she never dreamed that you and her would roll around uh, hanging out with, you know, Fendi bags and Lululemon shit and buying your own shit without her, without her family buying them. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Where, where are my glasses? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know she created a that. monster. She created no, a monster. No, 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 Come on, I have hey, a, you think you'll be able to beat me in the overall this weekend, or how you feel about that? Nah, 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 nah. You got those thoughts out of your brain now? Nah, nah, Fucking nah. with the beast? What about Kenny Worley? Will he be here this weekend with his oh, weird dude. thoughts of winning? <laughs> nah, nah, he will not. He will not be there. Has he changed the story of the weekend yet that he's been cheated? Nah, he moved on. I, I don't know if he... We, we've, stopped, <laughs> we've stopped talking arm wrestling, and I don't know if he got upset with me if he doesn't want to talk to me about this, because this is what I caught him doing. I caught him getting super matches after we came back after that weekend, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. As your manager, I cannot allow this. I know you still have this <laughs> bone in your elbow, and you're still going to complain about this and all this shit. I cannot let you disrespect the promoter like this. So every time I see the super match flyer, I'll reach out to Chance. I'm like, yo, Chance, you can't make them pull. He has an elbow thing. Oh, man, I didn't know. What can I do? Just tell him that you have to cancel it, and if he has problems, he can talk to me back. <laughs> 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 Phone call from Dan. Boom. 
see then the next day. It's all right, man. I'm talking to other people to pull like so and so, and like you don't know where you're gonna came from. I'm like, oh, I know exactly to message Larry Jenkins now. <laughs> yeah, Larry. <laughs> We want, him to pull, we want him to pull um, Paul Talbot, right? That's the match he wants? Well, no. Well, oh, well, Dan will want to arm wrestle anybody, I think. But, yeah, he has some crazy thoughts. Especially after pulling you, he'll be like, man, if I... Yeah, I, the trials was different, but, yeah, if I come back... Yeah, I just need a couple... I just need to get my elbow fixed and then two more months. And, like, he definitely will have a crazy plan. But I'm like, yo, dude... Bro, I he come out, gain confidence from that weekend when he offered it, 0 for 4? Uh, he did not tell me that, but that's exactly in his head, hundred uh, percent. But somehow, well, somehow he came back with three super match offers that I all had to manually cancel for him. That's what happens when you get on the screen with me at dinner, at lunch, and stuff, and YouTube. People start wondering who you're traveling with. All right, are we out of here yet? We gotta be yes, close. Sir, we are out of here. And What's like your deal? Are you working tomorrow? I have the class in the morning still. Oh, and, uh, my God. Kill yourself. I suck. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to make some money, man. Come on now. What are you learning how to do? Crypto? Uh, no, it's uh, just being a salesman <laughs> for credit card transaction company. So if anybody of you have a square or anything that your credit card process, I can beat your rates and get it cheaper. You know how to scam it? How to scam the whole system? I'm in. Uh, no. All right, I'm out. I'm out if it's not. If it's it's so it's all right. i'm sorry travis it's still legal so I'll all see right hey back, man. The, uh flash the mark the mark the may 4th tournament we are coming to the greater chicago area ladies and gentlemen it looks like i'm gonna pull whoever the number one left-handed arm wrestler is in illinois that's Pablo. oh look at there brian wagner the pavlo and the great bill thinks the place we're having the tournament the sports bar, Bill thinks built the building. So super. Back, back, gonna, back gonna, with gonna, the building. Looks, looks, like be, looks like it's going to be Craig Worth against Bill Stinks, two Ohio leg or Illinois legends of arm sports. So huh? we'll stay tuned because we got Danielle and um, Merlina, and then I'm going to add my match, and then we'll see if we can get a few others. So. Get ready. I'm going to hit you up tomorrow when you get off work so we can have this flyer ready. <laughs> I'll be on the plane, son. Where are you going? To oh, you. that's right. Oh, we can do the flyer here. Make sure you bring all your shit. Nice. I'm glad I'm going to have your ass here. When are you leaving? Monday or Sunday? Monday. Oh, sweet. All right. We'll have this fucking thing awesome then. All right. You're the man. Let me get all off right, here. Man. All right, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. Call yes. me when you land. <laughs> yes, sir. At least at this point, I'm a little scared, but I will do that. All right, babe. All right, sir. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, um, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you. Sorry, I've been, I have not exactly been in the workforce every single day, but we have been busy. We've been trying to make it happen. Um. What's my schedule like next week? I am in town Monday with Travis, and then I am I am physically working Wednesday, Thursday. However, we can rock a podcast on Tuesday and Friday, I assume. So that's about it, guys. Or even actually evening. So what? What? Where are the numbers at? We had uh, ninety eight people right now. People are leaving. I'm about to close the chat and see how many people we got total. Which I'm assuming it's not that bad, but. Yeah, we can do evening ones sometimes. But yeah, guys, I chose to do some physical stuff once, twice a week. But on top of that, every other day of the week, I've been just been trying to stay busy. Um, You know, trying to get more bags type thing. So yeah, Pasca has been a bit uh, pushed off, but it's my apologies. And yeah, sorry, I talked all of that stuff while uh, Fly was out. But all right, you guys, we'll see you. We'll see you here. You're not. Well, I am fired. So my apologies. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So thanks, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Maybe it's a different co-host.